Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Huddle in Place with the Nine Sided Circle. We are on episode 26 on April 18th, 2020. I'm one of your hosts, Noor Kyle in Los Angeles. And I am the host that is not Noor Kyle, Mushtaq <laughs> Ali in the Bay Area. Yep, and where are, where are you? In the, your I am either in the Bay Area or the Mojave Desert. Yay! Yeah. Desert. Desert. We like the desert. Yeah, we like hanging out that? with the scorpions and the gila <laughs> monsters. The cactus. Yeah, Joshua trees and over there is the choya, oh, yeah. the notorious choya, which is very friendly and will stick to you like glue if you brush up against it. Ooh, a yeah. too friendly, huh? has little hooky thorns in it so that uh, you don't want to walk through a whole bunch of choya. It will hurt a lot. But if you pay attention, you can walk around it and it doesn't mind you walking around it as long as you look, but don't touch. Mm -hmm. Better to have a look, but don't touch relationship, right? Yep. With the choya. Yep. We like choya though. I mean, I would plant choya under all of my windows, if I had. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Ain't nobody climbing through those windows. Nope. Well. Yeah. Good security measure, huh? Yeah. Uh, so, speaking of security, uh, today we wanted to discuss some de stressing strategy. Uh, yeah. Yep. I'm doing my best. I'm learning, right? Yeah. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the vast majority of us right now are experiencing some serious, ongoing, situational, and existential strain. So that means our bodies are chronically flooded with stress hormones like adrenaline, norepinephrine, and definitely cortisol. So, you know, stress hormone flooding can be helpful in the short term when we need to respond quickly to a stressor, but it's really not so good for our bodies in the long term, especially when stressors like the ones that most of us are going through right now are going to be present for some time to come. Yeah, basically, if you're sitting in your house and there's a tiger, you want to have the stress hormones. Mm -hmm. If you're sitting in your house watching Netflix and there's a tiger on Netflix, you don't want the stress hormones. <laughs> Or if you're listening to the news and some politician does something incredibly stupid, you don't want the stress hormones. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And when you do get them and you will get them, you want to be able to dump them. Yes. So that is what we want to touch on today. We want to talk about, you know, shaking off those excess hormones and the practice we want to go over today means that you're literally shaking them off. Yep. So why don't you tell us more about that much time? All right. So one thing that we have noticed is that in the animal kingdom, uh, when a prey animal gets chased, like say you're a deer and you're minding your own business and you're munching on, on the leaves of the trees and such like, and a mountain lion comes up, and he tries to leap on you oh, and no. you go ah. ah and you jump ah. up and you run away and the mountain lion can't catch you because you are faster on the open ground than he is over the longer distance and you're galloping off and you're leaping, yes. leaping boing boing all all that deer stuff <laughs> and you get away from the mountain lion and then you're sitting there and you're going because you're terrified yes and then all of a sudden you shake you go <laughs> And that is a way to start dumping those stress hormones. Mm -hmm. Now, a friend of mine, a guy by the name of Scott Sonnen, some years ago developed a program that he called RESET, which standard, stands for something interesting and important like rapid reset stuff. Yeah, and um, we may be able to link to that below. But Yeah, well, I don't think he has this on his... Uh, 
on YouTube anywhere. You'd have to go right. to his website. But in, for my money, it was one of the most interesting programs that he ever did. And I began using it with my athletes when I was training people to uh, go to full contact stick fighting matches. And it would allow them to recover very, very quickly between rounds. And what I discovered uh, in working with my people is that it not only helped you recover physically, but it helped you recover from the stress as well. Mm -hmm. And with a little experimentation, we determined that you could use this for just dewatting from the stress, help flush out the uh, stress chemicals. And, and it's that's a, what we want. Yep. That's what we want. And so credit where credit is due. Scott came up with this, uh, but I stole it from him. <laughs> Lovingly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, he gave me a copy of the, of the DVD, yeah. so I assumed it was all right that I made use of it. Mm -hmm. And it worked really well for my athletes. I, I mean, they beat people who they probably shouldn't have beaten because – they could recover faster than the other guy. Mm. And so by round three, the other guy was j just blowing. He, he was completely wiped out. And my guys were still, oh, here, let me hit you with the sticker punch. Risky. Yes. Yep. So. So. Oh. This is very, very simple. Mm -hmm. uh, and down below, uh, I am going to put a link to a video by a guy by the name of John Sifferman, who is a, an, all, another student of Scott's, um, who did a video on how to do this. And he goes through an entire elaborate thing uh, with all of the different shaking. You only need to do the first one, the, the up and down <laughs> shaking. Now, there is a way that I do it different than him. And I recommend my way because, of course, it's my way is always the best way. <laughs> But try either one and see which one you like better. Uh, rather than taking a breath in and then letting it out uh, during the, the vibration process, I just relax my lungs. And as I am vibrating, I'm going. And that bouncing up and down is letting the air move in and out without me having to do anything. Yeah, so it is kind of like a pant, but it's yeah. done by your body. You're not yeah. you're not hyperventilating. No, you're not ventilating at all. You're being yeah. ventilated, but not with mm -hmm. somebody's. Uh, God, what was the term? The gat. <laughs> That's back in the uh, the twenties and thirties. The gangsters get my gat and ventilate that guy. <laughs> not quite like thing. that. No. Nope. Nope. None of that. Yeah. So uh, take a look at that video and. Yeah. And make, try this. Yeah. 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 And I just want to tell you from experience, especially in the last 24 hours when I really needed it, this practice works. I mean, currently I'm coping with situational and existential strain, just like most of you. But on top of that, I'm also in the middle of the luteal phase of my menstrual cycle. And what that means is that the hormones that keep me feeling grounded and cheerful are winding down right now. And that adds another layer of challenge. And, you know, it's likely this exercise doesn't do anything about that specifically, but it does oh, almost, it, it may, yeah, we, you know, the mechanisms in that are not fully understood uh, when it comes to menstrual hormones, but it does um, almost, you know, immediately decrease the level of stress hormone burden. And that helps me feel more relaxed, which is awesome in and of itself. Yeah. And I use this like very, very regularly. Yeah. And um, it has yet to fail me, I have to say, for either recovering from an exertion or uh, recovering from uh, some stressor. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I definitely recommend this and it's easy to do. You're not literally jumping up and down. You're just using your knees to help you bounce yeah. up and down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to start John's video when he's done talking. You can go back and listening to him talk. That's okay. But mm -hmm. I'm going to start it right at the point where he starts demonstrating the vibration.
Yeah, so then you'll know exactly what yeah. we're talking about. And remember, you only need the first one. You don't need the sides to sides and the this way and the that way. You can do them. They certainly won't hurt you. They might right. help you. But the first vibration is the one that will uh, start relieving this stuff in our yeah. experience. And if most of us just really want to keep it simple when we're having a really tense tough moment so I think that would be a good way to go in a bind but if you have more time to explore then go through the whole thing whatever works for you but we yeah. hope this is beneficial because you know we use it too and it helps us out so try this out let us know what you think down in the comments if you would like because uh you know right now we need as many practical tools as we can get yes yep so that's what we got for you today hope you're all doing at least as well as us if not better yeah i hope so yes so in the meantime we will be back on monday yes right today's saturday today's so saturday tomorrow yeah. is our weekly talk on sunday evenings and yep. then we will be back to huddle in place on monday that's right so so take care and uh, we'll see you then. See you soon. Bye. Bye.